Hello, my name is George Hewn and welcome to Bubble Chart Pro. The most important bubble chart in project portfolio management is the chart that simultaneously shows you the cost, risk, net present value, NPV or other value measure, and overall value score for each project in your portfolio. This chart lets you instantly explore the most critical relationships in your project portfolio and can be an irreplaceable aid when it comes to helping you select projects. When analyzing a three-dimensional or 3D bubble chart, it can help to divide the chart into two sets of four equal quadrants, four sections in the front and four sections in the rear. You can then use these quadrants to locate the most attractive projects and the least attractive projects relative to the axes. Of course, you may want to divide the chart up in different ways too, but using front and rear quadrants is a good place to start. In the example here, project costs are represented in the x-axis, project risks are represented in the y-axis as percent probabilities of success, project NPVs are represented in the z-axis, and the overall project value as calculated using the SMART prioritizer are represented by the bubble size. The most desirable projects would be in the upper front left quadrant. These projects have lower costs, higher probabilities of success, and higher net present values. The opposite quadrant in the lower rear right would be the least desirable quadrant, as these would have higher costs, lower probabilities of success, and lower net present values. In each of these quadrants, larger bubbles representing higher overall value scores are more desirable compared to the smaller bubbles. So if we rotate the chart clockwise, we can see the relationship between probability of success along the horizontal axis and net present value along the vertical axis. In this view, the upper left quadrant is the most favorable quadrant and the lower right quadrant is the least favorable. Now, if we rotate the chart counterclockwise, we can more easily see the relationships between cost along the horizontal axis and net present value along the vertical axis. Again, the upper left quadrant is the most favorable quadrant and the lower right quadrant is the least favorable. We can also rotate this chart down so we can get a top-down view of the relationship between cost along the horizontal axis and percent probability of success along the vertical axis. In this view, the lower left quadrant of lower cost and higher probabilities of success is the most favorable quadrant and the upper right quadrant is the least favorable. Now that you've seen how valuable simply rotating this chart can be, there are also several other easy modifications that you can do to gain even more insight from this chart. First, you can remove the bubble size variable from the chart in order to transform the chart from a 3D bubble chart to a 3D scatter chart. Second, you can add drop lines to get a better perspective of each project's relationship in the three-dimensional space. The scatter chart with drop lines lets you easily see the exact points on the grids that correspond to the centers of the bubbles. So, as you can see, using the cost, risk, net present value, overall value chart can give you critical insights into your project portfolio unlike any other chart. Bubble Chart Pro 3D Bubble Charts come with a lot of other features to help you manage your project portfolio and select your projects, and you can try it for free. Simply go to our website at bubblechartpro.com and sign up. We'll send you an email with the link and you'll be able to instantly download the free trial to your computer. I'm George Hewn and thanks for watching.